Hello and welcome back to the Financial Freedom Show. Uh, in this episode, we're going to go over my recent dividend payment, which was from my uh, holding in Jeppy, as well as common misconceptions about dividend investing. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Um, so I was recently paid, as you can see, $125.84 from my holding in Jeppy. This is going to be reinvested directly back into SCHD, um, which I will actually do live for you guys. So I'm going to go to my SCHD, buy slash sell, and then input the order status. So 125.84, and then continue, and it's going to confirm the buy. Then I just click done, and that will be added to in my portfolio. Um, once the market reopens on Monday. So that is awesome. And it is one of the great things I love about dividends is they allow you to reinvest into different parts of your fund if you want to. Um, as opposed to growth investing, it's sort of stuck in that stock specifically or that fund. Um, that's one of the benefits of dividend investing is that you can move the uh, capital that you create around to different locations that way it's not all in one place so far overall i've gained 816 dollars and 49 cents in this portfolio from dividends but that's going to increase over time uh, i believe next month is a 200 dollar dividend uh, estimated payout uh, i'm going to receive about 100 dollars from schd and 100 dollars from jeppy again so uh, that will be uh, Awesome to watch, uh, see my portfolio finally hit $1,000 of earned dividends over time. Um, and I look forward to the future of this portfolio. Um, the only thing I don't like about M1 Finance is that it doesn't include your current dividend uh, in the current value, uh, but that's kind of because it's in cash right now. So once it gets purchased, it'll go into the current value on Monday. Um, that's just something that is a little annoying. Other than that, though, I really love uh, M1 Finance as a platform. I think it's very user friendly and uh, they have auto invest. So you can automatically put your dividends back into your portfolio. The only reason I'm not doing this is because it would have automatically purchased Jeppy uh, when I want to actually buy SCHD. So um, that's why I have it off for the time being. Um, but if you just want to reinvest back into the fund that paid you that dividend, uh, auto invest is an awesome feature. Um, if you do sign up for M1 Finance using the link in the description, you'll receive $10 uh, as a sign on bonus if you deposit $100 or more, uh, $500 or more for the Roth IRA. Uh, so uh, be sure to use that link in the description if you want to get $10 for free and start your own uh, dividend investing portfolio. So let's get into some of the common uh, misconceptions about dividends. Um, some people will say that dividends are uh, not good because basically the value of the dividend is taken out of their portfolio um, and then just distributed to them. Um, from what I've seen, that's not the case. Um, the value of each fund doesn't go down by the amount of the dividend payment that comes out each time. Um, a lot of times I've seen it go up after the dividend payment, so it's not a sure thing. Um, that's probably only an issue if you're investing in the short term because the fund is going to most likely return to its original value and surpass that in the future, uh, especially SCHD with its growth. Something else I hear about dividends is that they're taxed at um, for example, Jeppy is taxed at normal dividend rate, so it's like normal income. Um, I don't see that as an issue because it's extra income on the side that you wouldn't have had otherwise if you didn't invest in dividend stocks. So um, I don't see an issue with that. Um, I don't get where these people are coming from where they say uh, it's bad to have uh, extra tax on something that you wouldn't have earned in the first place, basically. So um, that doesn't make much sense to me. I understand how it could be less tax efficient than SCHD. 
Yeah, I just don't know where those uh, people are coming from. Another argument that I always hear is that uh, dividend investing is basically you're going to chase the highest dividend rate possible. Um, that's not the case either. I know a lot of people who go for actually really low dividend payouts. My, me, myself, um, I'm not chasing Jeppy's dividend payment. Um, if it underperformed, like let's just say QYLD, um, I wouldn't want that fund in my portfolio because it's losing value over time as it pays out the dividend. Um, the difference is Jeppy goes up with the market and doesn't fall constantly like QYLD and other uh, income funds, basically. From what data we have so far, that's what's um, being seen with Jeppy. I know that there's not much performance uh, data, but uh, so far it's been outperforming the S&P 500 this year. So um, that's something to take a look at for sure. Another thing about uh, dividends and tax issues is you could easily put your dividend stocks in a Roth IRA and that way it is tax free. And then when you're getting those dividend payments, it's basically like a new contribution to your portfolio um, over the limit. And then once you get close to retirement, um, eventually those dividend payments will they will outgrow your uh, contributions each year. So you'll be putting in more dividends than your actual contributions. So um, that's something else to think about as well, um, especially with Jeppy with the high dividend payout with uh, also growth over time. Definitely uh, something that I'm going to be adding to my Roth IRA. I want to eventually get my dividend payouts in my Roth higher than my contributions each year. And that way it's all tax free. Um, I could take that money out and use it for retirement income if I wanted. Um, it's just another benefit of dividend uh, payments. Lastly, something else to think about is that dividend payouts grow over time. Um, so for example, SCHD has a growing dividend over time. Uh, every year it increases its dividend rate. So um, that's something else to think about in addition to uh, why it's better than just plain old growth. Um, each year you're gonna be paid more for the amount of shares you have, so you'll have, um, have yield on cost much higher than when you originally purchased. Uh, that's going to be another factor, especially if it's tax-free income, like in your Roth IRA. Um, that's going to greatly improve your performance over time with your portfolio. So uh, thank you for joining me for this uh, overview of some of the uh, misconceptions about dividend investing um, and a little preview at my portfolio for the next week. Um, I will be out of town uh, for the next week, so um, I will make a video next uh, weekend, and I look forward to seeing you all then. Um, thank you for your support. I greatly appreciate everything you guys have done on my videos over the past few days, uh, all the comments, all the likes. Um, I look forward to uh, continuing this series in the long term. So uh, give, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.